What would you do if you had $80 million to design and build a super-efficient truck? That was Daimler Trucks North America's contribution to the U.S. Department of Energy's quest for the ultimate in transportation efficiency. In early May, I had an opportunity to drive that truck. I'm equipment editor Jim Park and I'm in Las Vegas where Daimler just showed the fruits of several years of work and $80 million worth of research. The DTNA Super Truck achieved a freight efficiency improvement of 115%, shattering the Department of Energy program's goals of a 50% improvement. It also managed an average fuel economy of 12.2 miles per gallon over a 312-mile real-world test course. Well, that's all really impressive. We need to remember that it's not a working truck. It's really a rolling laboratory designed to prove the effectiveness of various energy savings technologies. You'll never see this truck in its current form on a dealer lot, but some of the technology Daimler demonstrated on the super truck is already or soon will be in production. Among the currently available technologies used on the super truck are the DD11 engine, a DT12 transmission with predictive shifting, wide base tires and more. Technology that's on the cusp of commercial availability includes mirror cameras to reduce the aero drag of a conventional mirror, drive wheel fairings, aero improvements to the tractor and the trailer, auxiliary component drives and that slick active aero grill and a whole lot more. What we may never see in commercial production are the really advanced technologies like the hybrid electric powertrain, a waste heat recovery system and extreme lightweight materials. Because of the cost and complexity of these advanced systems and, it must be said, their relatively small contribution to the overall efficiency of the truck, truck manufacturers run up against the laws of diminishing returns. It gets to the point where the systems cost more money than they will save over the course of their service lives. But you have to remember, the point behind the Department of Energy's super truck project is to explore technologies that may one day make a difference. The fact that a technology may not be technically feasible today doesn't mean that it won't have a place in the market a decade from now. So what did Daimler actually get with the $40 million Department of Energy grant and its matching $40 million contribution? Let's start with the hybrid electric energy system. The hybrid energy recovery system uh, does a really good job of charging up the batteries in moments where you can take advantage of those energy, energy savings like when you're rolling down a hill or coming to a stop sign or braking, even when you get a chance to coast, it'll come on, provided it doesn't uh, slow the truck down too much. On top of that, all the electricity that's generated just flows back into the battery to power other systems on the truck, like the air conditioning compressor, uh, the wiper motors, you know, various electrical componentry, including you know, the system itself. There's actually no alternator or starter on this truck. Uh, the starting activity comes from the e-motor, which is part of the hybrid system, and uh, there's really no need for an alternator because all that electricity is generated the same way through the hybrid system. So you're looking at our power meter screen, and basically that's showing all of our high voltage uh, equipment on board. Uh, on the left side, all the blue items when they're active uh, are e-motor, our waste heat, and our solar. So those are all our producers, and they produce high voltage power. And can yep. Um, feed it into the battery. So in the center we have the, the state of charge and then uh, since we don't have an alternator on this vehicle we have a DC-DC taking our 360 volt hybrid power and converting it to uh, 12 volts. And the engine used in the truck might come as a bit of a surprise. It's got a much smaller engine than you'd expect. Uh, this one's uh, 375 horsepower and 1375 pound-feet of torque and it's a DD11, the 11 liter engine. If you think 375 and 1375 sound kind of small, it's because this truck is so aerodynamic and the powertrain is so efficient, there's so little parasitic drag in the drivetrain, you don't need a great big engine. It's really simple. We'd be missing a lot if we didn't discuss the aerodynamics and the powertrain, but we'll save that for an upcoming Ultimate Test Drive video series where we'll have time to go into more detail. Until then, I'm equipment editor Jim Park, live at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway with Daimler Trucks North America's $80 million super truck.